First of all, congratulations, a great performance. Had Cyrus hurt many times through the fight tonight. Can you sum up your, your emotions and your feelings now you've had about 15 minutes to, to think about what's just happened? I can't, mate. I can't, exp I can't explain how I'm feeling. What better feeling than doing that? 20 minutes up that up from up around, up around from your house. I just can't put it into words. All my friends and family out there following me around the country, supporting me. 10 years I've been fighting, amateurs, pros, they follow me everywhere, they support me everywhere I go. And this is for them, give back, because I've had a few, you know, some say robberies, close decisions, but listen, I learn from them. I don't go out, I don't go walking out with my head down and I'll get back to the pad and I work my arse off in that gym. And it showed tonight. You said you felt different heading into this fight and your self-belief was through the roof, but what truly did feel different? Because like you say, you've had your setbacks, but you've come back so strongly tonight. Um, I just had enough of losing, man. I knew, I knew where I was going wrong in the fights. The last fight, I definitely took too much weight out of me. Sometimes you think that the lower you go, <clears throat> the bigger you are in the ring and the better you're going to perform. It doesn't always work like that. And that's what I think Cyrus is doing tonight. I think he's cutting too much weight and he was slow and he, he was drained and, uh, and I knew I could, I knew, I knew I could capitalise on that. I knew, I've learned from what he's doing now. Now he's going to have to go back and have a think about where he's gone wrong and, you know, I hope he comes back because he's a nice lad. And, uh, you know, throughout the, the build-up what not, uh, We've had mutual respect, there's no, no, no sort of back and forth, it's just mutual respect because we're both good fighters and we didn't have to sell the fight because it sells itself. His fight with Chris Jenkins, Connor, was, was an absolute tear-up, but he did ship a fair bit of punishment in that. When you watched that tape back in your camp heading into this fight, what were you able to take from it to work on into tonight's performance? Well, I said to Charlie, I said on our interview, I was like, listen, people saying it was a fight of the year, all I saw was gaps and pl places what I could capitalise on. Um, that's why when they, sat, they told me the, the, the name, I was like, yeah, I didn't even flinch. I was like, 100%, I'll take that with a pinch of salt, let's go. You know what I mean? So, yeah. When the, the fight was waved off at the end of that ninth round there, can you, can you sum up the, the emotions? I, I was having a look at you, the look in your face was a picture, and I'm sure there will be some great pictures for you to share later on tonight. Do you want to know what's mad? I visualised the eighth round. I visualised him out on the stool, and, it, and it's fuck, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Um, there was times in the fight where I thought I had him gone, but I, there was something about that. And, and I knew he's, I, every time I digged into the body, he's, ooh, you know, I, I felt him, I knew he was going. And then when, when I went back to the corner, I think it was a sick fight and he had a good round. The corner was shouting at me, they're saying, don't let him get back into the fight. And, I, and it wasn't me letting him get back into the fight, because I knew he was going. I knew I'd just let him I'd keep working, son, keep working. Nothing was, nothing was hurting. I was like, keep working. Keep thinking you got me. You ain't got me, mate. I'm tough as I come. You know what I mean? You ain't getting rid of me. And I just wanted to let him punch. Go on, keep punching. Because I knew I was going to get him. There was a lot of conversations tonight, Connor, on behalf of the team of Cyrus Pattinson. We know Lewis Ritson was in the house tonight. There was talk of a, a big fight in Newcastle being staged. You, you've ruined the party tonight on that front. But what does that mean for you? You have that WBA belt on your shoulder. Where do you go from here? I need a good week off <laughs> for a start because I've had a real tough, tough grueling camp. 12 weeks I've been working back to back. Um, listen, I'm, like, I love it, man. Like, get me back out there, another big fight. I've got two fights with Matt Trim now. Um, and yeah, let's go. Give me a name. I want to give you an opportunity now, Connor, just to, to thank everyone who's been a big part of this journey for you to get to this point tonight. Your friends, family, those who were here, those who couldn't make it. Is there anything you want to say tonight? I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone boys. Boys tickets, um, spends the hard-earned money to come out. I hope this give, gives something back. Um, yeah, and listen, this is just a start, man. I'm ready to go again. Connor Walker, congratulations. Go and get that eye scene too. Massive congratulations to you. We look forward to seeing you back. Well done, right. mate.